I am at the Motel 6 in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. And I chose this motel because of its price and that you can bring your animals. So I brought my dog and my cat and we went to visit Six Flags New England and Lake Compounds. Now, this motel is filled with spiders just crawling everywhere. Everywhere. You have to duck. Just spiders. Spiders are everywhere. Okay? Even when people are trying to get into their rooms. Now, it's a well-lit property. Very well-lit. Look at this room, 114, with all these spider webs. So you gotta fight through the spider webs just to get into your room. Okay. And upstairs is horrible. I'm not even gonna walk upstairs. They're getting new microwave refrigerators, but this is how they just leave the trash and everything all out here. Some of these motels, people live in them. They've been in here for months. Okay. So I know it's kind of dark. I'm talking kind of low because it's nighttime and I don't want to be too loud. But I'm going to just try to go. Just walking around the property a little bit, just going through some things. Now the pool area is closed, okay, for the season. room key with me but this is the vending area and laundry you can come and wash your clothes and get some ice and here's a soda machine They have security cameras around this whole entire property. But it's just so filled with spider webs and bugs. This is the front entrance, which is the lobby here. And this is the main street that you will come off of National Drive. So it is kind of dark. I'm going to get back to my room. <laughs> I don't want to black person walking around looking suspicious, right? Recording. So now I'm about to go into my junkie room and I'm gonna actually show you what the motel room looks like. More spider webs. Oh, and the front part of it, they do have upstairs. So it's only two floors. As you can see. How you doing? Fine. <laughs> so it is wheelchair accessible. Make my video for YouTube. <laughs> people actually lives here and of course the pool was closed I'll show you this okay Mm -hmm. 
as I said, you can bring your animals. Now I'm about to go into my junkie room and show you the actual room. So now we're actually into my room. And when you first come in, you will notice I don't know, I guess they changed the space on the doors. Okay. And they closed the peak hole up. Wow. Okay. Some of these, uh, we've been switched three times. Our motel room. First time sheets was dirty. Second one had a lot of spider webs or whatever the case is. The air conditioner and the heat works. We have not had any problems with that. So it's a pretty good air conditioning unit. Of course, I came in and sanitized everything down. Microwave, fridge, which I think it was kind of nasty. I tried my best to clean it out. But as you can see, it's rusted. And I did show you outside how they do have new uh, microwaves and refrigerators that they are uh, putting into the rooms. I'm sorry. This is my kitty cat in there. She's sleeping. Sorry, Marshmallow. Get out of the cat food. She ate all the cat food. She ate her food and came over here and ate the cat food. Bad, Kayla. Bad. This is me. What's up, y'all? What's up? Your good Trey. All right. So, like I said, just excuse all the junk that's around here. But just showing you the actual Motel 6. The thing that I do like about it that's a good thing is they got rid of that carpet. They don't clean the floors. The floors felt sticky and, excuse me, sticky and nasty. Um, it was hair on the floor, dirt. We was finding pills. They're not cleaning these rooms. And considering the fact that, you know, a lot of us are still dealing with COVID and all this, they're not sanitizing, they're not cleaning like they should, they're not doing any of that. This is the bathroom here. And as you can see, this is what I've been cleaning everything with. And for the toilet seat, I cleaned and wiped and sanitized it down with my Lysol here, right, and then my... Clorox or whatever that I need to use here. I saw Clorox that was over there. Okay, and then after I wiped and cleaned the toilet seat down, I wrapped the toilet seat up with saran wrap. Okay, so that way you're not sitting on the actual toilet seat. And then when we need to use the bathroom, we'll just put some pieces of tissue to cover the seat. We find that more sanitary. We're not going to be trying to squat and all that other stuff. So we cleaned it really, really good. All right. And then another thing that I'm going to show you about what's not working about this room. This is the light switch. Watch. You want to try it again? You want to try it again? And we complain. Now watch this. Unbelievable, right? This is how you got to do the light switch. You got to... <laughs> Alrighty. And of course the cat lid or whatever. So this is the actual room. He over here trying to get his little nod on. So I'll just try to keep it down. But it's a queen size bed. So, I mean, this is the actual room. It's not that large. It's not that big. But like I said, they just need to do more with it, like a spider web up here. You know, it's just, to me, it's kind of, 
infested is what I would call it. Infestation is what I would call it. They need an exterminator to come in. They're not wiping down. They're not cleaning. You know, they had to come in and wipe the headboards down. You know, I had to come and wipe down the switches and the remote control because, you know, everybody touching stuff. I just don't think it's clean enough. So, uh, we be checking out in the morning, excuse me, checking out in the morning. So, I would try to make another video before we roll out. We'll be back on the road, heading to Philadelphia. And uh, I haven't really been YouTubing like I should because I've been doing everything on Facebook. I got tons of videos on Facebook. And actually, I'm going to try to see if I can actually remove some of those videos from off of Facebook and upload them onto YouTube so you can get to catch a lot of my videos and it's on different things so I'm never stuck on one subject it's whatever I'm doing if I have information I share it so that's pretty much what I do share information so until later I hope y'all have a good night stay blessed and I'm out peace